All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, this topic is going to be on uh, the difference, okay, between knowing and believing, okay. And sometimes people tend to get the two confused. All right, though they're very distinct words, they get they tend to get them confused. All right, because you got to understand that. In this truth, in this ministry, we, we've been blessed, all right, with, 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 with heavenly knowledge, all right, knowledge that is not of this world, okay? But just knowing that alone is, is not what's going to give you salvation, okay? Well, matter of fact, um, speaking of which, I believe there's a precept that says... Um, All right, so knowing alone is not what's going to give, give you salvation, man. You have to believe, and there's a difference between the two, all right? Just like there's a difference between knowing that if you stand in the middle of the road, a car can hit you, that's not the same thing as believing if you stand in the middle of the road, a car's not going to hit you, all right? Those are different things. I'm trying to find the precept here. I believe in the book of James. Say this name. And let's find James. Salakia, so this precept it, it hits the nail on the head, so I'm just trying to pull it up real quick. Um, There it is. James chapter 2, verse 19. All right, so it says, um, ooh, matter of fact, this is what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, I'll start at verse 17. It says, even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Okay, because you need the, the, the works to, 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 uh, 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 to basically keep your faith alive. You know, because if, if you're claiming that you, you believe, which faith is a gift, all right, from the Most High, the scriptures say that, uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. So grace is the door, all right, the opportunity, the, the, the chance, the second chance. But you need faith to be able to go through that door, you see? And you have a lot of people who say, oh, I don't got to do anything. Look, look at how it's all connected. You have that grace, right? It's the door. All right. You have the faith, which is what you need to you need in order to get through the door. OK, but going back here, you need works to keep your faith alive. So if you're not doing the works, all right, you cannot keep your faith alive. Then that means you can't go through that, that door of grace. You know, but you have people who sit on their ass and say, well, I have grace so I can do whatever I want. No. All right. <laughs> Nothing comes easy. Nothing comes uh, uh, free. Everything has a price, okay? Especially the kingdom of heaven. So it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and, and, not, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of the Most High. See? It's a gift of the Lord. All right? So going back here, it says, Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. So that's basically, and, and, and really, if the Lord gives you the gift of faith, because you have to understand, the Lord did not give that to everybody. Also, the level of faith which the Lord blessed everybody with is not the same, all right? But the Lord did not ultimately did not give everybody faith. So here it is. If you have faith, all right, if the Lord gives you a little a little uh, uh, light, you should do your best to, 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 to make that into a big light, you know, spread the fire, okay? But if you're not doing the works, if you don't have any works to, to keep your faith alive, it's going to be dead. Here it is, the Lord bless you with, with, a, with, a, with one of the greatest commodities on the earth, and you just let it die. That shows the Lord a lot, okay? Because you you come into this truth, all right, but, um, it's like, yeah, I keep forgetting to put this thing on. Um, let me see if I can find that precept. It says, uh. Um. 
Oh, man, it just escaped me. <laughs> All right, we'll just keep going. Yeah, you coming to the... Oh, there it is, it's back. Um, there's that, and then there's one more. It says... Um, There it is. See? So all throughout the scriptures, it, it, it refers back to faith, man. All right. So this is uh, John chapter 24, verse 4. Oh, so like here. John chapter 4, verse 24. The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? And you need faith to be able to do that. To be spiritual, you need to, you need to have faith. All right? This is... um. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. All right. So here it is. It says, the, uh, 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 they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. But that requires faith. Because without faith, you can't worship him. You can't please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, Yahweh. You must believe that the Most High is who he says he is. And he can do what he says he, he can Okay, and that he is a rewarder of them that seek him diligently. So this going back to 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 uh, uh, the book of James. All right, it says um, I'm gonna jump down to this verse and I come back up. It says, "Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well." The devils also believe and tremble. Okay, so just because you you know and you believe that there there is a a, a power does not does not automatically all right. Um, you have to believe that he is. There's a difference. There's a difference because you have you have um, um, Satanists that believe that the, the Most High. Well, James just said it. All right, the devils also believe. All right, that there is one God. Okay, but you must believe that 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 one God is Yahweh. He is. You have to know the difference between uh, uh, just knowing. All right, and believing. Okay, yeah, faith is 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 basically uh, uh, believing in, in what's not seen. Okay. You need, there's a difference, man, and you need to understand that, okay, so you can increase your faith. Because you can know all these precepts, but hold on, what about all those dudes that used to know all these precepts, blah, 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 but they're not in the truth anymore? They knew, but did they really have faith? Faith is what's going to carry you through the times that we're coming in, man. Because with that faith, the, the Most High is going to deal with you, he's going to protect you. And you're going to understand and know that he's doing it, because you have faith. It says, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay? And then it goes in, all right, which I might I might come back to this, all right, depending on how the spirit moves. Okay, but it goes into how our, our ancestors, our forefathers, all right, how they by faith they did all these different acts, all right. Things that some of you were uh, some of us if we were put in that situation, you you'd be like, damn, you'd probably double think it. You know? But with faith they did it. Okay, so going back to James chapter 2, I'll go back to 18. Yea, if a man say, Thou hast faith, and I have works, show me thy faith without thy works. All right, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Because, like we just read here, faith without works is dead. So you can't show your faith without your works. You cannot come and stand here and tell talk about, Oh, I have faith, and I believe, and so, so, and so. If you believe, you do the works. If you have cancer and they tell you that you need to, 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 to eat grass for three weeks straight, all right, to cure that cancer, but you're sitting you're sitting on your ass like, no, nah, I, be I believe exactly what you're saying. I believe that works, yeah. But you're not eating the grass. Do you really believe? It's either one of two things. You don't believe or you must really love having cancer, you know? And that's what it is saying here, man. You cannot, you cannot show faith without works because it's not faith. It's just you talking. It says, and I will show thee my faith by my works. You see somebody going hard, for, constantly doing the works, constantly pushing the video, staying in the spirit, doing their best to please the Lord. Well, not only does it show us, but really shows the Lord that he really believes. I told him if he does this, this, and that, this is what's going to happen. And he's doing this, this, and that. Because he believes and he understands that actions speak louder than words. Okay? Your actions show you. All right. They show they, somebody's actions show you their intent. People can lie. People can say whatever they want. But how they act in a certain situation is what shows you their true character. What's really deep down inside them. OK. 
So where was I? I've been all over the place. Lucky, I'm just, <laughs> um, you know. But going into it, man, going back to the the difference, okay. Um, that 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 faith and and matter of fact, let me let me pull this up. All right, it says here Isaiah chapter thirty three verse six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay, now we bring the scripture out a lot, you know, going into the into the knowledge, but this also goes into faith. Okay, not just knowing, but believing. Because the scriptures say that just shall what? Live by faith. You know this knowledge, but you have to really believe it. Because you have scoffers and scorners who know it, but they don't really believe it. You have people in the world who've heard this truth and they know about it, but they don't believe it. So there's going to be a difference. The men of the Lord, the elect, they're going to believe the words. Not just know the words, but believe the words. Okay? So if you if you want to show the Lord that you have faith and that you're willing to, to, to put in the work for him, man, get your ass up and do the works, man. It starts, you got to start somewhere. You know? You can't just be sitting down all day talking about having all this faith because you know what the Lord sees? The Lord sees this. He sees this. Well, well, if you have the faith, show you, show me your faith without your works. Oh, you can't because faith without works is dead. Okay, that's what the Lord sees, man. Let me see if I had any other priests. There it is. I, I'll close it out with this one. This is uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 11. All right, it says, um, Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. All right, these are things... All right, that we need to constantly uh, check ourselves if, if 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 this is our mindset, man, because this is the Lord's business, okay, and we're we're doing our best to to to, to multiply the Lord's money, all right, and have him have a successful business, okay, and in order to do that, we have to be fervent in spirit, fervent, hot, burning on fire, okay, ready to constantly uh, keep keep this this thing going, man, serving the Lord, because in order to do that, you need these these things, man. Rejoicing in hope, patient in, tri in tribulation, con con uh, continuing instant in prayer. These are all things that we need to have, man. Okay? And these things come by faith, not just knowing. All right? But you have to actually believe and have the faith, man. So, low one, this video is edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Until next time, Shalom.